One of the top data science products that have transformed my life is Google Maps, and specifically Google Maps Directions. To appreciate how insanely great this product is, we have to remember the past. Those were the days where we're juggling that folded paper map while trying to keep the eye on the road and a hand on the steering wheel, and it's quite the circus act. Now, can we trust Google Maps when it tells us that it's going to save us 7.8 minutes on the journey to Boston? To answer that question, we have to first understand how navigation software works. Mathematicians have studied this problem for a very long time, at least since the 1950s, maybe even earlier. The general idea is that you have a set of drivers, each of whom has a starting position and a target destination. Between any two locations, the map allows for a certain number of routes. Each route is divided into segments, and each segment at any moment in time has a speed at which the cars are traveling based on the capacity of the road and how many cars are on that segment. What the software is trying to do is to find the shortest route for every driver and each journey. This math has been known for decades. When implemented, one of the biggest challenges is to accurately estimate the speeds of traffic on all the different segments across the network. This is where big data has made a very strong impact. Google Maps is an app on a cell phone. And cell phones are surveillance devices that know where we are at all times. So if Google knows that you have moved three miles in the last five minutes, it's going to be able to infer that your car is moving at 36 miles an hour. Wait, did I say that the cell phone is a surveillance device? Yes, I did. Your cell phone is constantly tracking you. Let me explain how it does that. When my dad called me on the landline, all the cell phone company needs to do is to locate me in my apartment. My phone is fixed to the wall. In this new world, if I pick up my phone, I can be anywhere. So how does the phone company figure out where to send my dad's voice? Here's the magic. The phone company divides up the map into basic spatial units. Inside each one, they place a cell tower. Your phone is always screaming into the wild. Your phone is constantly saying, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, and the cell towers are constantly listening. So the cell tower that is closest to you at any moment in time is going to pick up on your location and report it back to the phone company. In this way, everyone who is using that Google Maps app is giving Google your location data, which is then used to estimate the average speeds of this network, which is a crucial element to figuring out the shortest paths between any two locations. This means, of course, that Google is that big brother who is following you everywhere. According to a recent report in the Associated Press, the Android software on Google phones are constantly tracking you, even for those users that turned off the location history. The same data that gives us this insanely great product is also taking away our data privacy. Lots of businesses and governments are eager to pay a handsome sum for this data. Your employer might want to know, are you actually home when you say you're working from home? Or maybe you're interviewing with another company. You have to decide whether the benefits and the costs balance out. But there's one issue you have to be aware of. There's absolutely no reason why Google or any other tech company needs to retain your location data forever. In order to serve you with directions, all they need is to know your location at the time of your journey. And after your journey, they could keep a record of the average speed along different segments across all the drivers on that segment. So if they are keeping your personal data forever, that's a business decision. In this episode, you've learned about how phone companies figure out where you are. You learned how Google takes that location data and use it to estimate the speed of traffic on the road network. You learned how knowing the speeds of traffic on the network is crucial 
for the navigation software to help you figure out the shortest route to your destination and you learn how businesses are so hungry to get a hands on that location data. If you like what you heard today, please like our video, subscribe to our channel and spread the word. Please also send us any ideas you have about future topics as we demystify the world of data and algorithms. Comment your ideas below. Principal Analytics Prep, prepping you for the data revolution.